This is part 49 of AngularJS tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss how to use HTML5 mode routing in an Angular application that's using UI Router. The steps that are required to configure HTML5 mode routing are same irrespective of whether you are using ng route or UI Router. In part 27 of this video series, we discussed how to use HTML5 mode routing with ng-route. Those steps are still valid if you're using UI router. Let's quickly review those steps and see what we have implemented and what we are at to implement for the sample application that we have been working with. The first step is to enable HTML5 mode routing. We do this by injecting location provider service into the config function and then calling its HTML5 mode function, passing it a value of true. Let's see if we have implemented this step. Let's flip to Visual Studio. So here we have our config function. Notice at the moment we are not injecting the location provider service. So let's inject this service. And then if we scroll down a bit, Notice we are already calling HTML5 mode function of the service and passing it a value of true. But this code is commented, so let's uncomment that. That's our first step, enable HTML5 mode routing. The second step is to remove hash symbols from the URLs. Now, to build the URLs, we are actually using UISREF attribute instead of href attribute. So within the code, we don't have any hash symbols. So if we look in index.html where we are building our links, notice we are using UISREF attribute and we don't have any hash symbols there. In students.html, same idea. We don't have any hash symbols there. And in student details also, we don't have any hash symbols. The third step is to include this URL rewrite rule in web.config file. We already have this rewrite rule. We implemented this in part 27 of this video series. This rewrite rule is going to rewrite all requests to index.html, which is our layout page, except if the request is for a file or a directory or if it's a web API request. And the final step is to include this base href element in our index.html. So basically, this is going to point to the location of your layout page. Now, if you look at our layout page, which is index.html, this is actually present within the root directory of our web application project. So if you look at the value for the space href element, you know, it's a single forward slash, meaning it's present in the root directory of our web application project. So that's our final step. So with all these changes in place, notice at the moment we have hash symbols in the URL, so we are not using HTML5 mode routing because that wherever we go, we have those hash symbols. Now, when I reload this app, look at what's going to happen. HTML5 mode routing is an action. When I go to courses, look at that. When we go to students slash students, when I click on a student name, we go to student details. Again, no hash symbols. Now, one important thing to keep in mind as far as this base href element is concerned is that, you know, place this just below the title element within head section. Let's see what's going to happen if I place it at the bottom after all scripts and style sheets are loaded. So I'm actually placing it as the last element. And now look at this when I reload and when I go to students, Look at that, we go to the student details without any problem. But at this point, if I reload this page by pressing Control R, look at that. The application is not working as expected. That's why include this base href element just below the title element within your head section before all the scripts and style sheets. Thank you for listening and have a great day.